Hello guys, this is Rama. I just want to let you know that I've uploaded another video and I love you guys to go and watch it. And if you like it, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, press the notification button. In that way, you don't miss any of our content every time we upload it. I hope you enjoy the video. Baboons and monkeys. The Hadza people hunt baboons and monkeys for their meat, which is considered delicious. Birds. The Hadza hunt birds such as guinea fowl, francolin, and doves using trap and nets. That's it. that is the youngest. It's a little one. Bora. Bush baby. Porcupines. These animals are hunted for their meat and quills, which are used in traditional craft. It is worth noting that the Hadza people's hunting practices are sustainable and respectful of the environment, and they only hunt what is necessary for their substance. They also have a deep knowledge of the wildlife in the area and their ecological system. They are part of it and they have developed a close relationship with the land they live on. <laughs> the Hadza people have a deep knowledge of their local environment and the resources available to them. This is how hydro drinking water actually when they find some water somewhere. You don't need cup. Don't need nothing. Make life they are skilled at finding water source while hunting, as water is essential for their survival in the hot and arid savannas where they live. Oh, no, I'm not sure if I can drink it out. I'm very ah! thirsty, but I don't think if my stomach you can sustain this kind of water. You know, I know that I, I grew up. Uh, around Arusha, around this area. I could pretty much say that, but I'm not sure if they can drink this because uh, this is not me, this is not how I... The Hadza people typically find water in a variety of ways, depending on the season and the location of their hunting ground. Some of the methods they use includes digging for water. The Hadza dig shallow holes in dry riverbeds or areas where water may be present underground. 
They then wait for the water to seep into the hole and they collect it in container or by using animal skin. We have drunk enough water now. They take a rest back to the farm of which they use the calabash like what they have together with the baobab fruits that they make it as a cup so they can have water back to the family. Collecting rainwater. During the rain season, the Hadza collect rainwater in a large container or by digging shallow pits in the ground. Drinking from natural springs. The Hadza know the location of natural springs in their area and they often visit the spring to drink and collect the water. See the kid is climbing up to get to the top of these baobab trees. The trees is holding water. There's a big hole. Obtaining water from plants. The Hadza obtain water from certain plants such as baobab trees, whose trunk can hold a large amount of water during the dry season. Drinking water. This is very interesting so that uh, they know exactly where to, to find the water. And that will be super clean water. Overall, the Hadza people's hunting and gathering practice are deeply connected to their knowledge of the local environment and the ability to find and utilize the resources available to them. It just disappeared. Mamia ba manako bi azabe kwa ishiko ishiko ota kwa ka manako ota za ota seke me ama manako ya na ota ako ama so ishiko ishiko ota ko sangeta ne eko bingsa to chikwe kwa mi po na matu ota chikwe ko no ngwa kama f ukopi 
ama isho hapo kwa kukumina wiko bichi utatua ya seme seme utatia ulupe utatoko ama isho tako ishi siye ea hazane kuyubia tako zoi kakeke bawa ulupe ea kwa kia ea bawa ale teti jiba I'm going to go to the i Tak betul. Betul tak tahu. Bukan yang ini, bukan yang ini saya nak. Hmm? <laughs> Happy to chew is in Ah? <laughs> Kau kongolok kau kata. 
Ini aku gonggolokan nanti. Kamu kencang. Ah, 
Queen she not, but now come on. Non, C'est <coughs> Can you pick up below? Nana, eh? I'm not a man. I'm not a man. Il a quitté, oui. 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 Il a Il a Quoi 
আওয়াজ আমি তো থাক ছুটি আমার না এ হ তুমি তো বাবা কান লামি আমি কো আনাম আকো খা আনি আমাকো <laughs> আগে আইনা স্টুয়ার্ড কমা তো না 
Tu me casas, no 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 me Here we go, we go for the honey now. They just found some honey, so let's see. I think there is some honey in here. Wow, a lot. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know Papi, <laughs> 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 Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I just found some breakfast. Oh, I'm quite 
Amana, what does that mean? It means that I, I try to tell him that so we just move and say that no. We, we, we eat have, first. Yes, we must eat here. <laughs> Let's eat first. In front of it's the, always, the bees. It's always, the bees. It is always amazing <laughs> that uh, they don't get stinged by the bees. <laughs> yes. Like they stick their whole hand and inside the beehives, but they never get stinged. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, uh -huh. Ah. 
Similar to barking dogs. We love it. We need to go. Very soon. We want to hear them barking like dogs. <laughs> Let's finish making the fire and harvest the honey. And then we plan to track and hunt the troop of baboons that we saw earlier near the bottom of the hill. We need to make sure that uh, we surround the baboon in a small area where it will be easy to ambush them and keep them away from the thick bushes where they could take cover and escape. I saw them by the hill behind us where it won't be easy to surround them. As long as we wait here, there is a good chance that the baboons will head downhill where it will be easier to surround and catch at least one today. The baboon usually sleep here, but now they have gone down this way and are over at the bottom of the hill over there. But the troop will likely return to sleep here later this evening. Let's wait a bit. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Kalau Pak Anak kata sudah berhenti-henti Sudah enak Sudah aku sembuh Sudah cabang apa itu Sudah aku sembuh Sudah aku sembuh Sudah aku sembuh over there we once ambushed them the baboons have peculiar sound that they make when caught woo, 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 woo. similar to barking dogs we love it we need to go very soon we want to hear them barking like dogs <laughs> Ay, <laughs> 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 All right, for now, let's go have our breakfast first. On a day when game appears, cuts. The Hazabi search for beehive to collect the honey. Honey is an important food source for the Hadza, making up 15 to 20 percent of their diet. Energy dense and sweet, the Hadza men and women both rank honey as one of their favorite foods. Hadzabi men usually hunt and forage individually and eat berries, fruits, and other food encountered throughout the day and bring home honey, wild game, and any other food so that they have managed to collect or hunt down that day.
Kita tamu dulu. 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 Kita tamu dulu.
Hai, buku amna chai ba. They, they found some honey in another tree again, so now they're starting the fire, they put it up the fire and uh, try to get some smoke out. That they can chase the bees away easily. This one seems a bit aggressive, so they have to start the fire and get the smoke out of there so they can chase the bees out. It is good for every day if they can find honey somewhere because honey gives them energy and the energy is what they need so they can walk many miles to find something that they really want to. Earlier today they suspected there will be some baboons somewhere so they're taking their time uh, waiting for baboon to move to somewhere else and then they're gonna try to track them. Test and 
Thank <laughs> you.